brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. 23 years as Guam's doctor for the dead. Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Aurelio Espinola's contract nears end in 2019, January 2019. As Chief Medical Examiner, his job is to perform autopsies, especially for those who passed under unusual or suspicious circumstances. From there, he'll determine the cause and manner of death. The job often requires he work with police, investigators, witnesses, and the victim's families. When foul play is involved, his findings could result in an arrest and trial. What he says in court in front of a jury often determining a defendant's fate. His job isn't only on Guam, but he also serves as medical examiner for the CNMI and Palau, and also has some cases in Texas. This is a very important job anywhere, because if you don't have medical examiner, you can guess what will happen. <laughs> the guilty will go, will go free. We are the one who, who look for, uh, who, who testify in court if he's guilty or not. But he has big shoes to fill, and few are qualified to apply. It's hard, uh, it's hard to find, because there are very few medical examiners in, in the whole world. <laughs> there are very few training programs. Doctors for the dead require much more training than those with live patients, which could be why so few pursue the profession. If you will go to surgery, you only need four years. If you go to forensic, uh, it, at least nine years. Interestingly enough, Dr. Espinola first started his career delivering babies as an OBGYN. He explains why he changed paths. That's ambition. <laughs> Ambition? Yeah. Ambition led you to this job? That's right. His secret to success in the field? You don't uh, use your heart. Once retired, the 77-year-old plans to move back home to the Philippines and, surprisingly, work in a completely different field. He tells KUM he'll manage a beauty parlor in Queso City. He hopes that someone watching will want to take on his job explaining that the workload is manageable and cases in Guam less violent than bigger jurisdictions. There are few cases here and uh, the cases are not difficult. In his career, he estimates he's examined 50 plus thousand dead bodies. While it's a thankless job, he doesn't seem to care. I like the job, this job period. Uh, that's, I, I'm not looking for reward. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.